All right, these are exponential equations, and our goal is to make a common base here. All right, and we're solve, solve for x, of course. All right, so uh, 16 and 8 are both base 2 numbers. So if you're not sure, you can always do a prime factorization tree. Here's 16, here's 8. 2 times 8, 2 times 4, 2 times 2. And then 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So 16 is 2 to the 4th. 8 is 2 cubed. All right. So then we would go ahead and rewrite this as... <clears throat> 2 to the 4th, that's just the 16, and there's that x as the exponent still, equals 2 cubed, that's just the 8, and then the exponent is 2x minus 2. <clears throat> Properties of exponents mean multiply, so this turns into 2 to the 4x equals, and this is 2 to the 3, don't forget your parentheses, on that exponent. All of that exponent gets multiplied by that 3. When the bases are the same, exponents are the same. Uh, let's go ahead and just multiply that out while I'm here. 3 times 2x. Well, oh, slipped off the table here. 3 times the negative 2. So this is 6x minus 6. All right. Uh, put all your x's on one side, numbers on the other. I like to keep x positive, but in this case, it's more work to do that. So I'm just going to minus 6x to both sides. Negative 2x equals negative 6. Divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. x equals... Three. All right. Okay. Exactly the same steps I did. Well, we got some bigger numbers here. And then you just got to make sure we distribute. So let's go ahead and attack the 216. And the two, 1,296. All right. So I know 216 is a power of 2. So uh, <clears throat> I think it's like 2 to the 7th, 2 to the 8th. Checking on my calculator. 2 to the 8th is 256. Hmm. So it's not a power of 2. Okay, good. I checked. All right. Uh, Power of 3, uh, 3 to the 6th, uh, 3 to the 4th, 3 to the 5th, trying it, 243. No, it's not a power of 3 either. Power of 4, uh, 216 uh, to the 3rd, no, <clears throat> 4 to the 3rd. Uh, 256 again. No, it's not fours. Fives, no. 216. Uh, 216 divided by 6. Yes, divided by 6. All right, so uh, this is 6 cubed. So I'm just going in order. Twos tried it. Threes tried it. Fours tried it. Definitely five won't work. Six worked. Uh, 6 times 6 is 36 times 6 is 216. So I'm pretty sure, uh, let's see, 2, uh, 216 six times 6. Yes, so this is 6 to the 4th. All right, so it's just experimenting. I used my calculator to do that. So <clears throat> 6 cubed, 3x plus 3 equals 6 to the 4th, 2x plus 5, exponents multiply, so 6 uh, to the 3, don't forget your parentheses, 3x plus 3 equals 6 to the 4, don't forget your parentheses, 2x plus 5, 
bases are the same, exponents are the same, and then solve like we've been doing. So exactly the same steps to finish it off as the last one.